Hello, my name is Dr. Jordan Reynolds, and I do molecular cytology, cytology, and urologic pathology at the Cleveland Clinic. Today I will share a case with you of how we diagnose lung cancer on small specimens. So here's an example of something we get at endobronchial ultrasound guided fineal aspiration, also known as EBUS. The pulmonologist has given us a slide, and we've stained it with Diffquick stain, also called Romanowski stain. Now this is pass four. The previous three passes were non-diagnostic. So we can see that this has some cellularity to it, but as we go to a higher power, we can see these cells that have very large nucleoli compared to the red blood cells next to them. And they also have evacuated cytoplasm and large nucleoli. If we go to higher power in one of these groups, we can see that these nuclei are approximately eight to nine times the size of its adjacent red blood cell, and the vacuolated cytoplasm would indicate that this is probably an adenocarcinoma. So we told the interventional pulmonologist that we believe that this is an adenocarcinoma. Since the previous slides were non-diagnostic, we asked them to put six additional passes directly into the satellite container for our molecular use. So in the satellite container, we made a cell block, and we see that there are malignant cells present here. Here we can see the large nuclei with the nucleoli and vacuolated cytoplasm and a background of blood and fibrin. And from that same specimen, we have a thin prep slide here. This thin prep slide also shows the same malignant cells, which we diagnose as adenocarcinoma. Now with the cell block specimen, we were able to perform immunohistochemistry stains of TTF1 and napsin, which were positive. That confirmed our diagnosis of adenocarcinoma. However, since we did not have that much material in the cell block, uh, we were not able to do additional molecular testing on that specimen. However, since we have material on our thin prep, we were able to do fluorescence and situ hybridization to test for an ALK mutation. ALK is also known as anaplastic lymphoma kinase gene, and patients with this mutation have the opportunity to receive crizotinib which is a tyrosine kinase inhibitor. This type of chemotherapy has less toxic effects than your conventional chemotherapy. Here's an example of our fish test on the thin prep slide. In its native state, the probe would show a yellow signal indicating that no break apart has occurred. However, in cases where there is a mutation status, the break apart probe shows red and green now. This patient was able to receive the crizotinib therapy and they are doing well today. Thank you.